the Upper Niagara River offers some first-rate recreational opportunities. Scuba diving, fishing and boating are all very popular sports on the river. Let's take a look below the surface and find out why this river is so popular for scuba divers and fishermen. Let me introduce you to a few of the residents of the Upper Niagara River. This is a smallmouth bass. They're found here in great numbers and they achieve a good size. They're a very popular game fish throughout North America. Both smallmouth and largemouth bass have an aggressive nature and this assures that divers and fishermen are likely to have a lot of contact with them. The walleye is another popular Niagara River game fish. Walleye are sometimes referred to as yellow pike in western New York and pickerel in Ontario. No matter what you call them, walleyes are highly prized by anglers as excellent table fare. So a walleye really needs to watch what he eats, otherwise you might end up in a frying pan. How's that for inspiration to maintain your diet? Less than 15 years ago, Buffalo Harbor and the Niagara River had world-class muskie fishing opportunities. The sharp decline in the number of these fish has biologists looking for answers. The muskies, the Niagara River's apex predator. I hope a solution can be found to stop their decline. There's really nothing that can replace a muskie getting up in your face when you're diving or following your lure back to the boat. It always gets your heart pumping a little quicker. Most divers love poking around a shipwreck in the Niagara River's got from more 1812 wrecks to modern day recreational boats. Every kind of commercial boat you could think of, canal barges, they're on the bottom. And they're always fun to look around. Most of them are pretty broken down old piles of wood to tell you the truth, but they all hold a lot of fish and they're interesting. These fish are rock bass, and you find them and smallmouth bass on most of the Niagara River wrecks. This sunken barge is located on the Ontario side of the West River, directly across from Beaver Island State Park Beach. This barge is a good bit more intact than most Niagara River wrecks. The front end is a little bit busted up from ice and logs and current over the years, but as you move towards the downstream portion of it, it's a lot tack. There's some decking and uh, some big cleats. There's even a passageway to go below deck if you're brave enough or foolish enough. It's the only way in and the only way out. This wreck found the bottom in 1986 after she and the barge she was towing missed the entrance to the Black Rock Canal and wound up taking a wild ride down towards the Peace Bridge. The two vessels struck a Peace Bridge abutment with the barge ending up wrapped around the abutment and this vessel, the Ruth B, ending up at 25 feet of quick moving water in front of the Chevy plant. The Ruth B is my favorite river wreck but I've explored it a bunch of times with my friends. So don't mind me if I just slip around the back of the wheelhouse and get on the leeward side and sit here and play with the rock bass a little bit and think about the Niagara River. 
and I'm thinking maybe it's okay if a bridge design gets rejected because it's not environmentally friendly or a waterfront project is delayed because of environmental concerns. Because this river is a pretty special place and we need to make sure we get things right before we build them. Thanks for watching, and one last thing. This is a diver's floating flag. Please give us a wide berth if you're out on the river. We don't know where we are in relationship to your watercraft. And to tell the truth, we're totally immersed enjoying the Niagara River. <laughs>